Science shows us a clear path to 2050 in which both nature and 10 billion people can thrive together. Most people understand what a house is, a place to live, a place to have family, a place to eat, sleep, and call your own. But as pandemics, climate change, and other catastrophes spread throughout the globe, home, at least in the framework of our Canadian context, will probably look very different in the future. And by 2050, we don't just mean the following year or decade. Consider how much can occur in a brief period of time. Just six decades separated the development of human flight from the first lunar landing. Let's take a look at three mega-projects that are going to make living sustainable by 2050. Number 1. The Line Mega-Project in Saudi Arabia There are already many magnificent buildings in the Middle East. The Line, a massive linear city in Saudi Arabia, has now been added to the list. Its building is currently in progress. The video shows the early stages of the city's building as it was recorded by the OT Sky Drone. The massive Line project at Neom has started. The excavators can be seen in the footage creating broad ditches in the desert. This 170-kilometer-long, 500-meter-tall city, which is located in the northwest Tobuk region of the country in West Asia, promises to rehabilitate 9 million people. Additionally, the city has mirrored walls on either side that perfectly reflect the desert. The city will purportedly be the first metropolis in the world to be powered entirely by renewable energy, which includes hydrogen, solar, wind, and other energy sources. To promote harmony with nature and foster a temperate atmosphere, lush vegetation will be planted all across the city. Number 2. The Floating City, South Korea According to the C40 network of global cities tackling climate change, if emissions aren't reduced, more than 800 million people living in 570 cities around the world may be at risk from sea level rise by 2050. By the middle of the century, the network predicts that the cost of increasing sea levels and inland flooding might be $1 trillion. However, it is hoped that the sustainable floating city prototype would help in some way to address the issue of giving vulnerable coastal residents safe places to live. Oceanics Busan, based in the waters off South Korea's second largest city, was recently unveiled at the UN headquarters in New York. It's a collaboration between UN Habitat, the Busan Metropolitan City, and Oceanics, a blue tech company based in New York. The floating city is designed as three interconnected platforms totaling 15.5 acres that will initially provide homes for a community of 12,000 people, potentially rising to 100,000 with construction due to start in 2023. Each of the platforms has a specific purpose – living, research, and lodging while the link span bridges that connect them to the land create a sheltered lagoon, providing space for recreation on the water. Another key element of the design is sustainability. The Oceanics Busan has six integrated systems focusing on energy, food, water, waste, mobility, and coastal habitat regeneration to ensure the floating city reuses and wastes as little as possible. Floating and rooftop photovoltaic panels will generate 100% of the operational energy needed for the city. Each neighborhood will treat and replenish its own water, reduce and recycle resources, and have urban farm areas to grow food. Number 3. The Tiny Houses of Tesla The Tesla tiny house is incredibly eye-catching. Clad in sustainable, locally-sourced, chemical-free timber, the Rolling Design Studio gives locals an up-close look at Tesla's renewable wares. The tiny house, measuring 20 by 7 by 13 feet, is outfitted with a 2-kilowatt photovoltaic system with six panels. There's also a Tesla power wall on the home's exterior. The Tesla tiny house on wheels has a very simple interior because it serves more as a venue to demonstrate Tesla's products than as a fully furnished tiny house. A design studio is located inside the Tesla tiny house on wheels, where guests can create their own solar-powered tiny home on a screen. All of the lights and electronics are powered by the sun, and everything can be managed and controlled using the Tesla app. The 20 by 7 foot small house on wheels is constructed of locally and environmentally produced materials. The Model X, which has a 2 ton towing capacity, can tow the Tesla tiny house on wheels. Since it appears from the photographs that the Tesla automobile is being powered by the small home solar powered system, some have questioned if the power wall can charge the Model X by itself. The price point will probably be exorbitant because the little house on wheels is a Tesla, especially if you include the Tesla Model X in the deal. The modern tiny house on wheels concept, however, is fantastic. 
It involves a tiny dwelling with a smaller environmental impact that is towed by a Tesla electric vehicle and is entirely solar-powered. It's a terrific idea to promote both Tesla's capabilities and tiny house living with a tour of tiny houses on wheels. That's it in this video. Please like the video and thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for latest updates.